Next up on WTV, school accountability ratings, senior sunrise, and online school fees. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Thursday, August 15th, and I'm Lauren Pratt with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. The yearly A through F accountability ratings will be delayed this year. WTV's Joaquin Perez has the details. Texas was set to release its A through F accountability ratings from the 2023-2024 school year today, but a Travis County judge blocked this from happening after a lawsuit was filed on Monday by five public school districts, Picos, Barstow, Toya, Crandall, Forney, Fort Stockings, and Kingsville. We believe that our arguments are valid, attorney Nick Maddox said. They obviously made sense to the judge and our sense of urgency because once you let the cat out of the bag and releases those scores, it's too late. Among the factors that compose the school's ratings are star exams. However, the five districts that filed the suit claim the new automated computer system to grade star is not valid or reliable. The negative impact of AI grading appears to disproportionately impact Texas' highest need students, the lawsuit reads. The changes threaten to unfairly and unlawfully lower the A through F ratings of many school districts and campuses. A full hearing is scheduled for August 26, with the TEA saying it was reviewing the filing to figure out how to proceed. The legislator adopted a strong A through F framework to help improve the quality of student learning across the state, give parents a clear understanding of how well their schools are performing, and establish a clear expectation for school leaders so that they can better serve students. A TEA spokesperson said in a statement, it is disappointing that a small group and school boards of superintendents opposed to fair accountability and transparency have once again filed a lawsuit aiming at preventing A through F ratings from being issued and keeping families in the dark about how their schools are doing. Reporting for WTV, I'm Joaquin Perez. The first of many events for the senior class of 2025 is tomorrow morning. WTV's Joaquin Perez has the story. This year's Senior Sunrise is tomorrow morning at 6.30 at the front of the school. The Class of 2025 Senior Sunrise is sponsored by the PTSA with Senior Sophie Polk ready to see the whole senior class come together. I'm excited for Senior Sunrise because it's really the first opportunity for our whole class to be together and celebrate each other for our last year. For senior Brooklyn Brown, this is a great experience to start off her last year of high school. I think it's important for the seniors to go to Senior Sunrise because it's just important to take all these moments in together and it's just our last year here, so why not participate with our class? The admission fee is $10. Scan the QR code on screen to buy your ticket. Reporting for WTV, I am Joaquin Perez. With the school year starting, there will be many things to pay for on online school fees. WTV explains. From parking permits to course fees and club dues, students and parents may have to pay for different things throughout the school year, and online school fees is a one-stop shop for all of these payments. To set up an account, go to Liberty's website, scroll down to the links section, and click on online payment systems. From there, you'll be taken straight to the Liberty online school fee page. Once at onlineschoolfees.com, set up an account and you can start paying fees. Payments made with credit cards will be subjected to a 3% service charge. Reporting for WTV, I'm Lauren Pratt. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on X, Instagram, and Facebook. Or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. That's it for today's daily update. This is Lauren Pratt for Wingspan TV.